would think that the shoe would have been such a powerful but strong symbol, really. I mean, it's not one of the biggest things, probably, in the, I would say, worldwide. It's really quite exciting. This project's been in the pipeline for about, you know, good four years I've been planning this thinking about how to do it. You know, I always knew I wanted to do something that was taking the kind of street art murals, graffiti art, and taking it to another level. And I thought about kind of weaving that together with live poetry through spoken word performance and, and kind of collaborating with poets to do that. One, just the sheer size, you know what I'm saying? Just to you know. There's moods on every single wall, you're just taking on a journey in terms of the mood. I think it's quite astounding. How is you guys going right, to play right, right, right. How can you work in this, within right. this space? Yeah. For me, this project is quite personal as well in that, like yesterday, I, I decided I took my mother to, to see my father at the cemetery. Because only you might know that my father passed away in September, just gone. But we know that this is only going to happen once. Everywhere is war. No one dies for free. Every bullet on this earth has to first pass through me. I mean, I had a stable job. I had, uh, I was working for in a computer games company making games. Uh, it was the job I wanted to do ever since I was a kid. It's a dream job, designing computer games. If you were trying to dis distill why you're doing it, and yeah. as you just as you just mentioned, the sort of message you want to get across, if you're trying to distill that. If I was growing up and I had, I knew of someone who'd do what I'm doing, that would have made that would be something. Mm. I want people out there to know that graffiti is happening in the Birmingham Rep Theatre. Mm. I want them to come to that space and see this clear message that represents the situation in Palestine and Gaza. Mm. That speaks volumes when young people are going to say, you know, wow, hang on. This is, this is something else here. This is next level because it's not in the inner city areas of Birmingham. And suddenly, go, 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 go. Um, the whole process so far has been really emotional actually. Well, we were given some themes writing wise beforehand, uh, loosely based around the art or the concept of three. So that was one of the framing of concepts, just the number three. Three little words carved into willow bark or sprayed upon breeze block wall. Three larger words that will unduly call myriads of marching men to attention. Even the temporary nature of it, you know, it's going to be knocked down. You know, there's something beautiful in that as well, bittersweet. But nothing's permanent in life, you know, everything's got to go one day, everything has an end, so you've got to know how to disconnect. It. Everybody is a little bit on edge. Patriot, pin post. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I want to believe it. You know, people are starting to feel the pressure a little bit, the pressure of the production, just for me. That's the beauty of street art, man. Graffiti, you're just taking over, you know, anything that's in your path. Carrying forward something here, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a messenger, of course, but someone with a message. We are dealing with peace, love, and unity today. This beard on my face, mm. instantly, whether I like it or not, makes me kind of responsible and, and representing a community of billions of people, the Muslim community. Mm. Even then, there was this poem. Even the, uh, my family, through their frustration, you know, my wife and even my, my kids, my daughter, 
you know, it took them to the first time for the first time to see the wall yesterday, which is not what I always get a chance to do when it, when the wall's on the other side of the world. But bringing them here to see it, I think really for the first time they really saw where I've been spending all these hours. For example, I was um, came on one of the days for rehearsal. I'm um, Muhammad Ali's standing in the corner of the room. And the room is so big, like just massive scale, right, of art. And it occurred to me that all this art came out of him. I am the biggest player on this earth. I'm driving revolutions for everything they're worth. Every bullet spent has to first pass through me. <laughs> I'm glad I was right <laughs> about it coming together. Imagine the wound. Imagine all of us coming from this wound. When the wound is holding us. I was a little bit perturbed when I saw the amount of kids and I was thinking, oh no, are they going to be disciplined enough to be able to run in? So really, you guys have been witnessed something certainly historic. You know, I wanted to do this. I realized I wanted to do something more. Uh, and it's a sacrifice in a way, yes. But there's also many benefits, you know, of fulfillment from this creating art with some, with some purpose. When I die, and my whole life here yeah, revealed, I hope my light was used, my darkness endured, I ain't confused. Who I trust less than you too, Allah, not you, Madison Avenue. Yeah, when I die, and my whole life get revealed, I hope my light was used, my darkness subdued, I ain't confused. Who I trust less than you too, Ya Allah. Me and mine. Yeah. I'm afraid for you. You're listening to people who will hurt you. I'm listening to Muhammad, mother. Muhammad is generous, yes. He gives, he shares. He'll pass no man without a smile. But he is spreading dangerous ideas. Danger! The most high. Danger! Speak now, hold your peace up in the air. Makes danger. They leave us no choice. It's time to hear the Muslim voice. Speak now, or hold your peace up in the air. Make some noise. No hay más alternativa, musulmán sobre la rima. Que se escuche la voz del pueblo. Echen armas hacia arriba. No hay más alternativa, musulmán sobre la rima. Que se escuche la voz del pueblo. Echen armas hacia arriba.